Hi guys and welcome to Reason 3 Titan Lords gameplay. So we last time started off with this brand new series, so without further ado let's continue on. Right now we have to fight this great lower here. So yeah, let's do that. Anyway, let's move on. Claw monkey. Oh, oh. Today, only monkeys live here. So I guess I can't loot these monkeys. Blacksmith's hammer. I'm sure this will come in handy. Some apples. Knife, chisel, face mask, spyglass, nice. So basically now I'm picking up all kinds of stuff that I will need down the line I think. The lens is cracked. I'm sure some of that stuff I can probably sell. Let's take a look around if we can find some more things. Voodoo doll. talking about give me gold gold is good higher core yellow okay I don't know since when iron ore is yellow but I guess it is So as far as I can tell so far there is some exploration to the game. So Later, maybe. this first level I think it's kinda limited. But I'm sure it will be more open world later down the line. Of fire spell. Useful for lots of enemies. Yeah. Okay, let's put that. Five, what's that? Turns you into a parrot. Hm. Let's put that over here.
lots of stuff to pick up around these ruins so that's everything I can't pick up anything else I think There's some gold and gold like bad gold that's nice a lot of gold gold is good but there are some guys over there but let's take a look before we move on look there is something there, but it looks like there's no way to get over. Well, unless you can fly. I can fly, actually. But let's first have a look. I see. Parrot flight magic. You can use it to fly over gaps and chasms. So this is expendable. So, the way magic works over here, at least for now, is mostly through these scrolls, I would say. You can go there by yourself. When you are a parrot, you can glide for as long as you like. You can use energy to increase your altitude. Once your energy has been depleted, you will only be able to glide. around here and we got another parrot flight okay let's head back then I'm back no I'm back See if we have something around here. Guess not. Okay. Let's save up before we move on. Just in case. It's always good to save the game as often as you can. Especially with these Typical. piranha bites games. We the only ones here. We need to stop them, or they'll get to the treasure before us. Ideally, wipe them out with the rain of fire you have in your pocket. Okay, I fucked up. First I have to attack them, then use this. Bloody pirates. Typical. I knew we wouldn't be the only ones here. We need to stop them, or they'll get to the treasure before us. Ideally, wipe them out with the rain of fire you have Stay in your pocket. Time. I did 
didn't exactly wipe them out. But okay. I guess they were just the rear guard. Others must be in the temple. Who's the leader, do you reckon? We'll find out which flag they're sailing under soon enough. The captain's sure to be inside. We need to get in. Unfortunately, the bridge to the temple's withdrawn. I can see that. But there seems to be another way in, across the river. It'll be a bit difficult for you, dearest brother, but not impossible. Find your way into the temple and activate the drawbridge. I'll stay here and keep lookout. Open the book. So guys, do I read that? Yes or no? I guess I can read. Hunting for treasure. Patty waved this weird treasure map in front of my face with the words. Let's go dig up the legendary treasure in the ancient temple of Crab Coast. Oh well, what choice did I have? Damn, someone reached Crab Coast before us and I is also trying to find the location of the vast cache of treasure. We need to hurry if we don't want to get there too late and find that everything's been plundered before we even got there. Patty has discovered the lifeless corpse of a pirate. I am to have a closer look at him. Could offer us a useful clue. Yeah, useful clue. He offered us a tongue. Let's see if these guys have something to pick up. Claw. So you can pretty much pick up almost anything in this game. Lots of consumables and stuff. If it's like the previous Piranha Bytes games, I would say you can use this campfire to cook your food. Yes. But I don't know if I need a frying pan. Like there was a case in Gothic series. Okay, let's roast us some chickens. Raw fish, we can do that as well. So this basically goes everything into our provisions. Can't pick up this flask, it seems. Okay guys, we will stop here for today, so thanks all for watching, feel free to comment on the video, rate it up, subscribe and all that good stuff. If you missed the previous episode, you can click the annotation at the end of this video and it will take you to the playlist of this series. And yeah. Also, if you would like to see more of these episodes per day, feel free to comment about it in the video and I will make sure to bring you guys more of that. So until next time, have fun gaming and I will see you out there.